Hi, my name is Michal Lipinski, Pro Concrete Application Engineer at Bentley Systems. In this short video, I will describe concrete modeling best practices, such as how to use levels with ease and how to use templates. In previous video, we talked about modeling concrete objects. Now, let's discuss how to organize the model before we start, so it will be easier to manage it after we finish. I have mentioned levels previously and how we can define level on which the object we are modeling will be placed on right in the modeling tool. It's recommended to do this because then it's easier to manage objects in the model as well as on the drawings. This way we can easily switch off unnecessary objects both concrete and reinforcement. To place objects on the right levels, first we have to create the level in the level manager and then during modeling select that level in the options. Of course, sometimes we may want to change a level for an existing object, and that's easy too. Just use change element attributes, specify the right level, and select the object you want to adjust. It's really simple. As mentioned, now using level display, we are able to quickly switch off parts of the model so we can focus on the objects we want to work on at the time. It's a good practice to prepare all the necessary levels before modeling, and if we plan to use those, on different projects, we can do that in the seed file. That way, every time new model is being created using that seed file, levels will be available for us. One more thing we can do to make modeling even quicker. You probably noticed we are defining few parameters when modeling, like dimensions, materials, descriptions and levels, among others that can be set up. We can save a complete set of those parameters as a template and switch between those really quickly. After you input all the data you want, just use the template button at the bottom. Dialog window will open, and here we can organize our templates in folders and save each one. Also, we can mark those used most often as favorites, and those will show up on the drop down menu in the main window. So now, with one switch, we can change the description levels and dimensions at one time if we need to. Those template files are located in this file path. Please remember to use your localization folder and can be really easily migrated to another workspace or machine. That concludes the video. Hope it has been useful. In the next video, I will be covering the general overview of rebar modeling. Stay tuned.